What's the significance of connecting the bris with the giving of the name? Ruba Brach has had her name for a while now. She seems to be fine. Why do we have to connect the two? So I'll tell a story that's very moving that I, I hope will shed uh, an opening to this possible understanding of this. In 1904, there was a war between Russia and Japan. And the Jewish boys who were under Russian rule, of course, were not only worried about Bittal Torah, but losing their lives. And they were going in droves to the Svasemes to get a bracha that they should not be drafted into the Russian army. And it's told that they stood in lines and he was known to give brachas that were matzliach and there was one boy waiting in line from a bracha or a bracha from the Svasemes. And he waited and he stood in front of the Svasemes and he looked at him and instead of giving him a bracha that he should be putter from the army, that he should not get drafted, he said, wait here a minute. And he went to the next room and he brought out a safer. And he looked at him and he said, learn this safer. And if you learn it, even if you're drafted, I promise that you'll come out healthy. He gave him a bracha that he should come out and survive even if he's drafted. And this young man was drafted. He was terribly upset that he didn't get a bracha from the Svasemis to be exempt. But what could he do? That's what he got. So he took this safer and he's off to the, he was drafted. He found himself in the worst situation with Russian, terrible, terrible people. Ruchmias, Gashmias, it was unbelievable in the sign for him. But he decided with the strength of the bracha of the Svasemis that he was going to be strong. And it says that he excelled as being a soldier. One day the general of this platoon shows up and he asks, he looks, he sees that all the other soldiers are not keeping clean, they're not keeping their, their neshek, they're not keeping anything, they're like a bunch of slobs. And he says, what kind of an army is this we got here? And the captain of, his, of this division says to him, you're right, what can I do? And he remembers that he has one soldier that he's proud of and he brings out this Jew. He says, I have, a Jew, I have a soldier that you can look at, and he's a soldier. And he stands with this general, and the general takes him aside. And he sees that he's a serious soldier, and he says to him, I missed the part, when he told him, he said, and by the way, he happens to be a Jew. He told the general that this good soldier happens to be a Jew. So sure enough, he takes him aside, and he's speaking to him, and he says to him, you know, in the Russian army, you have to eat food, you can't be unhealthy. Is it true that you eat only kosher? And he says, yes. He said, well, I'm telling you as the general of this army, you have to eat everything that's put in front of you. And the Jewish soldier says back to him, this yeshiva bocher, he says, I have a greater general than you. I have to listen to. And he takes out his gun, he puts it to this young man. And he says, is it true that you keep Shabbat? Is it true that you don't work seven days as every Russian soldier should? And he said, it's true, I keep the Shabbat. And he points it to his heart and he says, we need soldiers that commit fully to this army. You, you have to work seven days. And he says, I'm sorry, I have a general that's greater than you. The almighty king of kings, I have to listen to him. And the general smiles and puts down his gun. And he tells this young yeshiva bocha, relax. I'm also a Jew. You passed the test. 20 years ago, I was drafted into the Russian army. I'm now a general. Nobody knows I'm a Jew. But I had a Jewish child. And I know that if I'm going to give my Jewish child a bris milah, a circumcision, it has to be done by someone who's a mom and who believes in this, someone who at least keeps kosher and Shabbos. Do you know how to do bris mila? And this young man looked at him and his first thought was, I had never done that before. And he remembered, of course, he said, I've studied how to do it. He said, I'll make a deal. You circumcise my son, I'll get you out of the army. That'll be your ticket out. That's how the story goes. But every bris milah is filled with Mesirus Nefesh. 
I'm not only talking about the people who had to be most nefesh to come here, as Shekoach, all of us, <laughs> this morning, but I'm talking about my dear daughter-in-law, Miriam Leah. Hasti Hashem, we're sitting here after a very difficult time, and we know that the Jewish women and the Jewish men circumcised their children under circumstances that were unbelievably dangerous for Klal Yisrael, whether it was the Chashmanoi or the Nazis that outlawed from circumcision. And circumcision was maintained by Jewish families who were willing to be Moser Nefesh for their children, to be part of the bris for eternity of Klal Yisrael. Avram Avinu gets his name when? Before his bris or after his bris? I had to look it up. We all know, Avram Avinu, Bris Hashel Avram Avinu. We think he got it just like the baby does. After his bris, he got it before his bris. Just before his bris, Avram becomes Avram, Avram becomes Avram. Hashem gives him a, a different name. He should be Avhamon Goyim. Avram Avinu had demonstrated his mysterious message for the world. He took upon himself to save his nephew boy. He was undertaking to save humanity, and he got a growth of Adam and got a new name. It seems to me that the mysterious nephesh that is of the essence of Bris Mila is also the essence of getting a name. What do we need a name for? A name is a God, a name is a shem, giving us the opportunity to mekadeh shem shemai with our name. We read in the parsha this week, Lo tisa shem elokecha l'shav. The Sadi going says this is speaking to the Indian of Kiddush Hashem and Chul Hashem. We know that a person's name is his right to carry shem Hashem nikra alech. The shem Hashem is nikra alein. When we carry the way that we live, it teaches the world about Shem Hashem. We give our children Shemos in order that they should fulfill Kiddush Hashem in this world. Because each unique individual has a unique role to play in Kiddush Hashem. But who gives the name? The parents give the name. The Klal gives the name. The parents need to be Moser Nefesh in order that the name is given with an understanding of what's necessary for Kiddush Hashem. Mesiris Nefesh is the prerequisite of Kiddush Hashem. It's really the mitzvah of Kiddush Hashem. When we say the Shema, we undertake to be Moser Nefesh al Kiddush Hashem, we know that that's the essence of what we strive for with our own names. So perhaps these two things are really one. The Mesiris Nefesh and the giving of the shame that every brismila contains is really one idea. Kosh Baruch Hu gives us an opportunity to be Mekadeh Shem Shemayim through our own lives and through emulating Him and giving that opportunity for Kiddush Hashem to our own children. I once met a Jew from Bira Bajan. Bira Bajan, for those who don't know where that is, is in a near Siberia, let's just say. It's near Siberia. This is a Jew who grew up in Bira Bajan and when he found, when he read the Bible for the first time at the age of 35, he heard about the bris mila. He read in Russian that Jews are supposed to be, have a mila. And he told me this, and I believed him, because I saw it in his eyes. He gave himself a bris mila. He had no moel there. He had no rabbis there. He had nothing. He found out a little bit how to do it and he gave himself a bris milah, like Avram Avinu. That's Masiris Nefesh. Ever since then, I connected the notion of Masiris Nefesh as a prerequisite for Nesina shame for the fulfillment of the bris. And the Almighty should, be, should help us all. I have tremendous akaras to Kodesh Baruch for bringing us to this day. I want to particularly thank the Bauman family for everything they've done for Miriam Leah and Yisrael Mordechai and Elisheva continue to do for our wonderful joint Yichus. We should be zochet to see a Kiddush Hashem from this young Yaakov Chaim and his wonderful sister Ahuva Bracha who shouldn't be left out on this important day. 
and that we should be zochet to all the brachas that the Almighty wants to give us. Amen.